Welcome to the IVM Podcast Network. TFG Football is an IVM production and you can also check out their other awesome shows like Geek Fruit with fellow and television geek Tejas Jishnu and Dinkar as they discuss the world of science fiction and nerd culture. You're listening to TFG Football. Hey everyone, this is the TFG Indian Football Podcast and uh, this is me, Kevin. I'm welcoming you to a brand new episode. Uh, you'll have to get used to my voice for this week because Siju is traveling. She's uh, right now in Hyderabad enjoying. She's on uh, work mode. So she might just uh, chip in uh, a few, uh, one of the few episodes that we'll uh, have uh, in this week. So uh, as of now, it's going to be just Chiranjit and me. Chiranjit is in... Uh, I'm in Calcutta. Oh, he's in Calcutta. So, uh, things warming up over there for the CFL? Yeah, we got uh, the start dates announced. Uh, it's not going to be the 10th. Actually, I turned up here because I, I was like, okay, a couple of days later, we're going to have a, a local league starting. But turns out it's going to be 12th. Uh, 12th East Bengal will play. 13th Mohammedan Sporting will get a match. And 14th Mohan Bagan. So, we'll have a match every day from there on. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, it's action-packed. You know, it's just uh, local uh, football that interests everyone in uh, all of Calcutta. And it's I think happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. Like we have uh, uh, the Mizoram uh, Independence Day football tournament. That's going to get into semi-finals now. Goa Pro League is not far away. Shillong Premier League just started. Shillong Lajong just won uh, yesterday. You know, they started their uh, campaign. So... It's it's uh, beginning, uh, you know. The football uh, uh, action is going to be underway pretty soon. I think the northeast, uh, West Bengal, and Goa. These are the prominent uh, footballing states that football never never stops at all over here, isn't it, Chiranjit? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, moving ahead, uh, we have news coming in from Mumbai City. They are just. On a signing spree, this is another foreigner that they've uh, retained, you know, in double quotes, retained. It's Leo Costa who will be uh, playing for Mumbai City for yet another season. Uh, the attacking midfielder, he's got a lethal left foot. And he decides to stay on and uh, he becomes uh, yet another foreigner in the squad. So, Mumbai City are just, you know, s- silently doing all the work in the background as just... Uh, all of a sudden, they've got almost four or five foreigners in the squad. Chiranjit, what do you have to say about this? Uh, yeah, they need to get uh, hold of as much uh, proven quality as possible because, uh, let's face it, they were pretty much the best team last season. So, uh, they, it did make sense for them to just uh, keep, retain as many players as possible. And there's no uh, retention limit on foreigners, thankfully. Mm -hmm. So you get to bring them back if they want to come back. So uh, Leo Costa, again, uh, a successful player. Uh, I I remember like him uh, contributing to many chances. Uh, Similar to uh, what Katsumi Usa has done over the few years uh, uh, for Mohan Bagan. Uh, The guy can play in a couple of positions. Like he can be moved around, used as a utility uh, to like uh, just make up if you have any holes uh, in any part of the pitch. So, uh, yeah, uh, committed player uh, can really uh, read the game intelligently and uh, he's proven in ISL. So, uh, all obviously makes sense to bring him back. Yeah, I, I think it, it uh, would have been a bit easier to catch hold of the same players who were there with the team uh, last year. Uh, know, mm. Knowing that uh, they've been accustomed to uh, the climate and uh, the football over here, rather than going in for you know altogether new players, where it becomes uh, difficult for you know a longer contract to be made because uh, it's yeah. uh, something that needs to be you know uh, understood well by the by the, by the foreigners because uh, a point uh, I just uh, recollected what we made yesterday, you know hitting the summers uh, late in the season might not be the best of uh, the climatic conditions that the foreigners would be expecting yeah. yes the money is there for the for for grabs but then what about uh, the physical conditions so uh, that's that's about uh, the mumbai city signing and uh, another news coming in for uh, this is related to the under 17 fifa world cup that's happening in india so what what mm-hmm. announcement was made yesterday was the trophy experience. Now this is a unique opportunity for everybody who's in uh, India, and uh, especially in these uh, six cities where uh, the World Cup will be hosted. So everybody gets a chance to come up close and get a feel 
of at, at least what's the trophy that is to be given to the winners of the world cup very closely so it begins very soon in this uh, month that's uh, new delhi would be the first one to get a chance to have a look at the trophy that's uh, 17th of august and not very far away from today so that's when it kicks off and uh, it will move through, uh, from uh, new delhi to uh, the other five cities that will be hosting chiranjeet what an opportunity for those who can just grab and get a picture of uh, at least get a feel of uh, the actual trophy what an experience this would be yeah this is the closest we're going to be to the trophy yeah. make no mistake i, I would so just take about this opportunity <laughs> 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 yeah so yeah it's uh, they they do it uh, uh, with the world cup uh, almost uh, every time and we've seen the world cup trophy the senior world cup trophy come to india a few times uh, you know we've seen the champions league also do a similar kind of tour uh, under 17 world cup usually does not get this kind of fanfare okay i'm mm -hmm. i'm I mean, seriously, it it may be because uh, I'm uh, I ha hardly ever followed the Under 17 World Cup before, but uh, I have never seen the Under 17 uh, World Cup getting this kind of uh, publicity or fanfare or just popularity. Like uh, you go back uh, and you see like uh, normal matches of uh, uh, Under 17 World Cup uh, from years past, you will see like half empty stadiums most of the time. uh here we will have uh, guwahati uh, uh, kolkata uh, mumbai to some extent goa these are already selling out okay so uh, we, this this is going to be a very unique uh, world cup in terms of uh, you know what what the players will experience as well uh, and uh, this may just become the most popular world cup uh, ever uh, under 17 world cup ever in terms of attendance and if we make that happen yeah uh, if we if we like deliver the highest attendance uh, the under 17 world cup has ever seen then fifa will have to start considering about okay maybe we give them the under 19 world cup maybe the yeah. uh, under 23 uh, some championships uh, and then the actual world cup so that is that's a very real possibility and we can start getting that momentum just uh, with this tour you know so wherever you are if it's in your city uh, check out uh, you know on twitter uh, on tfg football we will be sharing the dates and everything if it's in your city go yes. take a look don't and, miss and that let opportunity know how excited you are for that <laughs> all right uh talking about such a good news uh, something that really excites uh, all the indians uh, to come closer and uh, you know look forward to this mega event that uh, that's happening in, in our own country in the month of october a news that just comes in uh, and this is more like breaking news jamshedpur fc have signed samik duti he has played for uh, atk should we say atletico de, Col de kolkata uh, atk is just uh, is fine at the moment so samik duti i love his technique uh, he is one of those players who can just you know fly past uh, uh, defenses and he is uh, just so smooth with uh, when he's on the ball and this seems like a good signing for jamshedpur uh, he is yeah. one of the younger players who was there uh, in uh, the isl last season and i admire his technique uh, what do you have to say uh, about this chiranjit great signing for them ah uh, he's uh, samik doughty uh, probably one of the best uh, foreigners to ever play in isl uh, and and uh, that that's what he has the uh, the opportunity of becoming actually because a young guy has loads of speed uh, really good crossing abilities uh, and uh, has such a, a good read of the game and uh, can adjust like you you come to isl and immediately you start firing it's it's not easy at all you know you have to adjust to the strikers you have to adjust to the defense uh, the behavior of the midfielders and samik doti was he was effective from the day one okay yeah. and uh, atk uh, really benefited from his presence uh, throughout last season and that's why it's it's Uh, such a good signing by Jamshedpur FC it's because they know this guy can adjust to new teams very quickly right okay and Jamshedpur FC is a new team so they need players like him who can bring that kind of stability who can bring that kind of assurance uh, on their very first game uh, uh, in the professional arena so uh, brilliant signing you know very well thought 
and uh, ca- well calculated signings right uh, there's some something that goes on a bit on a low low note over here uh, is something uh, that's cropped up uh, in the bengaluru fc camp so bengaluru uh. midfielder brolio nobrega is caught in something that uh, he should not have uh, you know he wouldn't have imagined or maybe this is something that needs to be looked into by the legal matters but uh, all of a sudden uh, he is in the news for all the wrong reasons uh, it seems he's uh, caught in a uh, sex scandal and uh, that's not something that uh, we hear you know in a day to day news and uh, we hope uh, if this is untrue uh, well, this is clear uh, it's, it's not a fresh one he was uh, convicted in a scandal like uh, in, uh, not even a sex con- in a scandal it was a, a sex offense so uh, he had uh, a couple of uh, you know uh, allegations against him and uh, he confessed uh, to the police so he had to pay a fine of some 12 13000 euros uh, uh, to like uh, you know compensate the victims here and uh, yeah that was it that that happened in 2012 uh, when he was playing for real zaragoza so uh, i don't know this is this is something from his past mm-hmm. yeah and uh, that does not uh, mean that he's banned from playing football or anything, anything like that uh, but you know it it just gives you at least a bad taste in your mouth when you hear that uh, some player who has been signed uh, has this kind of record in the past the one of the things why this actually even uh, you know makes me think twice is uh, uh, look isl signing process especially when it comes to foreigners is different from any professional full fledged league in the country okay uh, you sign a foreigner you have to run it past uh the league organizers hmm. uh, you know fsdl or img alliance whatever you want to call that so it it's true you you want to sign, sign a foreign player you have to get an approval from img alliance okay and uh, so so there there is a uh, dual layer of vetting that goes through this it's not like uh, i league clubs who just uh, sign whoever they want they don't have to tell anybody like after you have signed you register the player with the federation here you have to take permission to sign your own players and your coach so <laughs> how come bengaluru fc uh, who have been uh, so great with their scouting so far uh, miss that and how come img reliance uh, who uh, so uh, you know vigorously vet all the players that come in to play all the foreign players that come in to play in uh, isl uh, how come they miss that hmm. uh, so uh, either they are either they are like uh, turning a blind eye to it or i mean uh, i think the, the news came out in hindustan times and they contacted the club and the club said to we choose not to comment on this uh, so they are just uh, they think this is just something in, from his past and they want to give him another chance to uh, they want to move on and not dwell on what happened uh, before uh, but you know uh, if you if you are a fan Uh, it leaves you in that conundrum that uh, will you cheer for somebody like that yeah <laughs> it's 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 a difficult position to be in and i don't think it's easy for anybody and i'm not uh, you know pointing fingers at anybody for uh, you know signing him either but it's it's just this unfortunate thing that and again uh, it's not that, something yeah. very fresh that uh, needs to be given so much attention also because uh, this was reported in right back in september 2012 and we are in 2017 yeah. and it's you yeah. know it's way long back uh, even before uh, uh, his uh, conviction i think uh, after uh, all the charges were put pressed against him he has continued playing it was it's not that uh, he's been on uh, on a dry a dry period that uh, he's yeah, yeah, not yeah. in touch with football so this this yeah, really so, it shouldn't so be that big a matter of a concern for anybody who's really trying to make a uh, uh, blow it out of proportion So it's just something so, that's no, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's not like it's not like he cannot play, but uh, you know, it it a sensitive matter like this, especially given the current climate, leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Especially because uh, we have seen Bengaluru FC, uh, you know, uh, take uh, the issue of women's safety uh, so seriously. I mean, uh, last season they played uh, a very important game. Uh, it was an AFC Cup game, I think. Wearing a pink uh, jersey pink jerseys, yeah. instead of their blue shirt, yeah. 
so uh, yeah you have you have a club that is associated with such messaging and uh, now you have a player like uh, this with with this kind of past record uh, who is playing at bengaluru fc so yeah this is uh, a bit unfortunate overall yeah so we can leave that at there because uh, this is not something that uh, we want to talk about uh, at least uh, uh, when we talk about the positives of football so this can be left uh, uh, as it was 6 4 or 5 or 6 years back i mean i mean everybody is uh, should be free to make up their own minds it's not like uh, uh, this uh, this guy should carry a stigma or whatever, whatever it is uh, you know it's so the the guy has been uh, uh, convicted and uh, he whatever legal action uh, that was taken against him he went through it and uh, now he's playing again so uh, i don't know what where where does this go it's it's a it's a very different kind of uh, debate that we're going to uh, we usually have on this podcast and and i don't really think i'm very qualified to address it either <laughs> So uh, that was about it and uh, uh, we hope uh, uh, the positives of football always uh, are there in the limelight and we get to see uh, real football action very soon uh, and as it is uh, if you are following our website thefangarage.com you'll be updated with all the happenings about football and we talked about uh, football that's happening in the northeast uh, football that's coming up in the uh, CFL and the goa pro league whatever updates are there do follow us on the tfg football handle on twitter and you can also uh, uh, on youtube you can like our channels uh, like share subscribe and do most often comment you know that's how we know uh, that you are liking a show and a show and uh, that just helps us motivate uh, even more to get you more uh, new and new articles uh, to talk about uh, on a daily basis uh, so that's it uh, from our end uh, we'll catch you tomorrow was Tantrik Steve from Hansraj College Delhi performing at IIT Bombay's Mood Indigo. Just like them there's a lot of new talent and art coming out of colleges all across India but unfortunately most of this goes completely unnoticed or ignored. To fix this we started atkt.in. Hi, I'm Ankur. I'm a musician and a rapper and I found that one of the best things about being an artist myself is finding new talent. Through atkt.in Tanya my colleague who's a dancer and our whole team really is putting all of our efforts into discovering and promoting all the coolest talent that's coming out of colleges all across India and this goes up on our website our social media TV radio and now of course this podcast with IVM make sure you go to our website support the talent with your likes your shares your comments all of that really matters go ahead check it out atkt.it Good evening ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking sorry to say but there's been a slight delay due to the apocalypse having suddenly begun as you can see there's death destruction and chaos taking place all around us but don't you worry food and drinks will be served shortly and i would recommend checking out ivm podcasts to get some of your favorite indian podcasts we'll keep you going till this whole thing blows over thank you